Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. Today it's just me, Dawn, and we're going to talk about hypnosis. We have done hypnotherapy here on the show before. You might remember a few years ago I went through some past life regression with hypnotist Angela Solozero. If you're curious about those episodes, just scroll down in the description box where we've had some links for you. But we thought we would do an episode on what it's like to go just for hypnotherapy because a lot of people will go for hypnosis for many different reasons. My personal story is, as you know, I do struggle with autoimmune diseases and I understand that autoimmune diseases are affected by stress. I've had quite the whirlwind the last three years and for anyone who's not sure about my story, we have another video on that below so you can check that out or you can always visit our playlist where we have both episodes listed under Karen's healing journey and my healing journey so you can get to know both of us a little bit better. I don't really find I react to stress. I'm pretty zen, I'm easygoing, I'm a happy person but yet these symptoms always seem to pop up. Um, I get sick easily, I'm in a lot of pain, brain fog, uh, I end up with contact dermatitis or ringworm or you know allergic reactions and all of them lead to that I'm under stress, but yet I don't really feel like I am. So I wanted to better my brain body connection. And I thought I would try hypnosis to help do that. So I found a hypnotherapist in Toronto. Her name is Dr. Bronwyn Gates, and she works at the Positive Change Clinic. And this clinic was originally founded by Dr. Patrick Porter. He's a well-known hypnotherapist who um, him and his father both created programs and taught thousands of hypnotherapists and had hundreds of clinics all over the world. After reading his book, I wanted to find someone with his training and that's how I connected with Dr. Gates. So Dr. Gates was nice enough to sit down with me prior to our latest session and explain to me what hypnosis is, why she got into it, and I wanted to share that with you. So here you are, a little clip with Dr. Bronwyn Gates on hypnotherapy. How long have you been in it and why did you get into it? Okay, I got into it in the early 2000s, 2002 actually, um, because I came myself for hypnosis. I had been struggling most of my life with weight and decided that, um, you know, I'd gone on just about every program you can imagine to lose weight. I had lost 80 pounds and within two months of stopping the program that I was on, I put 60 pounds back on again, no. which is exactly what happens after a diet program. Right. And I happened to see an ad for positive changes in our little local newspaper and recognized maybe there was something the way, something wrong with how I was relating to food mm -hmm. that could make me feel deprived for not having it mm -hmm. and immediately go back to the junk food. Mm -hmm. So I signed up myself for a session, for a, 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 a program mm -hmm. of, of sessions for losing weight. And I found it was extremely helpful because it changed the way that you think about yourself, about the way that you think about food. Um, it motivated me to be more active um, and I found that I lost 30 pounds um, pretty quickly um, on the program. And while I was doing it, I also noticed that other people coming in were having success. So that's what started me on the journey to become a hypnotist. The rest of my career, I've, I'm an anesthesiologist actually, and um, had been still working as an anesthesiologist, but gradually then sort of changed. So two days a week, I'd be doing hypnosis and two days anesthesia. And then I gradually retired from anesthesia. And now I just work with the hypnotherapy. But it really was a journey for me um, because I started recognizing how powerful the mind is at either taking us down a pathway we don't want to be on or taking us on a way that we do want to be on. It is, so it's more suggestible. It is. Okay. And what you want to know is that the suggestions are going to be 
suggestions in the direction that you want to go. Right, that's important. We're from going from the beta brainwave state, which is wide awake, into the alpha brainwave state, which a lot of people have experienced and not necessarily known what it was. But it's kind of like that relaxed state when you're maybe watching a movie or um, reading a book and you get kind of lost in the story and you might sit there for a couple of hours and oh how could it be a couple of hours already because you were just in that relaxed state that's the alpha brainwave state and then deeper than that is theta um, which is even more relaxed and deeper and then delta so that you go through all these brainwave states delta is really down into the sleep levels um, and you don't really get there for in the hypnotherapy part of things but um people in under anesthetic and drugged would would be going deeper and deeper so they would get to the delta they would go further okay. but um and you don't need to go deeper than that when you're under the hypnotherapy to start making changes because really as soon as we take our conscious mind into the background which happens between the beta and the alpha state it's not raising objections anymore so you say oh well i can't go to the gym i'm too tired i'm i'm you know it's the end of the day i'm too tired it's oh i'll go tomorrow um, and the conscious mind starts putting in all these objections mm -hmm. whereas the super the subconscious mind or the super conscious mind however you want to to have it known it really brings up more possibilities for us but also is important to realize we have deep inside what they call a critical factor so if i said to you don um i'd like you to go to the bank at the corner and rob it and bring me all the money the critical factor in your mind wouldn't allow you to to take that suggestion to heart and to actually do it so we have a moral and an ethical uh, barrier that unless you're really willing to go along with it and you think it's a good idea to go and rob the bank at the corner and bring me all the money, um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't accept suggestions like that. But if it's a suggestion that you want to be doing mm -hmm. um, and that's going to make your life better, the mind says, well, we could do that. There's no reason you can't go to the gym. And it'll make you feel better and it'll help you get to your goals and it'll it'll do the things you want it to do and it'll help you along that line okay. so yeah we are suggestible yeah, that's really small... important to know though that you're not <laughs> and, and that's that right. we can't like we we are the ones that end up deciding you if decide if you to... want to or not right um, okay. so so at the end of the day i'm here to help you and guide you to what you might like to be doing but you make the final decision. So I'm not like the one. The, I'm not the one wielding the whip and right. saying, "Dawn, you have to do this. You have to do that." Yeah. I think I saw this episode once. I think it was, uh, I don't know, like CSI or something, where um, these people were doing things, and then they found out that the hypnotist was calling them with some kind of command word and then they'd go into hypnosis and they would go commit these crimes. That doesn't happen. It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it's interesting because that's rather what happens in um, stage hypnosis mm -hmm. because they'll be given a suggestion, um, you know, that they're feeling hot and they start stripping off their clothes or they're cold and they start shivering. And then sometimes they will be given a suggestion, you know, when you hear the word whatever, um, you know, it's going to make you stand up and start clapping or whatever. And then the hypnotist will throw that in to, to the post-hypnotic session. And the person will stand up in the audience and, and start clapping. Um, so it, it is natural, but it's only because they're willing to go along with right. that. Okay. Um, if it was for committing crimes and things that they really don't feel ethically or morally are right, then you're not going to be doing those kind of things. And everyone can be hypnotized. Everyone who wants to be hypnotized can be hypnotized. Okay. My brother always said to me, oh, you'll never be able to hypnotize me. And that's true because he would have set up the barrier that says, no, you're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. But if you have a goal and you want to be hypnotized, basically it's the physical and mental relaxation and it's 
as soon as you can let go of having to be in control and consciously take care of everything, then you slip down into that alpha brainwave state. And it's the same brainwave state that's used in yoga for meditation and relaxation and for visualization, guided visualizations. And we've all experienced it. We just don't know that it's the same state that right. we use for the hypnotherapy. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. Um, so after three sessions with Dr. Gates, I noticed much better changes in my body. I didn't have the same reactions that I was having, but I was also more aware of my emotions. So I found it was working and I decided to go back for, as you heard, nail biting. Now, after one session, I stopped nail biting. I have not bitten my nail since. And, you know, you hear people say that they go for hypnotherapy and after one, they were cured. I am now one of those people. Yeah, I have not bitten my nails. They're nice and long. I don't, you know, chew at the polish. I don't peel them off. Like, it was amazing. After one session, after this session that you're about to see, I didn't bite my nails ever since. So you're about to see a clip of what it's like to go through a hypnotherapy session. I It's usually about 20 minutes long, so I trimmed it just, you know, the the beginning and the end so that you know you don't get hypnotized yourselves and I think it gives you a good idea of what it's like so I put on a headset and the ears end up having these lights that flicker in for auricular therapy so ear acupuncture and then you'll see me put a set of glasses on and there's lights that flicker in there too which I believe hits the optic nerve which then helps to um, hit my subconscious and my memory a little bit better. And then I hear binaural beats playing as well as Bronwyn's voice coming into the headset. So here is what it's like to go for hypnotherapy with positive change and Dr. Bronwyn Gates. Okay, so biting nails. Yeah, I was a nail biter when I was a kid. Okay. I, and then I was fine, but just recently, I don't even know when, but my husband has been noticing that I'm biting my nails. Okay. And I have to... Had you know. noticed or not? Or? I had noticed that I picked... I, I was trying to wear fake nails for a while. Okay. So I was playing or with them. Okay. But now I've gone on to biting. Okay. So uh, I would like to... Okay. Let's see if hypnosis can help you, you well. We can uh, we can work on that. Great. Okay. Okay. So you can get yourself all fancied up with your okay. the chair handles on the right hand side there. Thank you. All right. You can start your relaxation today with some nice comfortable breathing, Dawn. Just knowing that your body is well supported by the surface you're resting on and you can just let go of all thoughts and worries and concerns about anything that might have come with you today from the outer world, allowing you to recreate your dreams, producing results upon awakening. Helping you to continue to feel very resourceful as you incorporate all of the work that your subconscious is doing for you now. And this is so. There you are. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that people don't recognize, particularly about the whole process of hypnosis, that really it depends on the wonderful relaxation 
because when your mind relaxes, when your body relaxes, your mind also relaxes. And then we're far more open to be able to make changes and to come into contact with our subconscious mind when we're relaxed. It's like going to bed at nighttime and you lie down in bed and sometimes you remember something that you should have remembered earlier. You recognize that it happens to all of us and sometimes the more you struggle to do something consciously, the harder and harder it is. What we really need to do is contact our inner mind, our subconscious mind, and that's what helps make changes. And that's what hypnosis is all about. Mm -hmm. It's about being able to work with the subconscious mind in order to create whatever change it is you want whether it's changing a habit like biting your nails, whether it's changing a habit like smoking, whether it's making better choices for eating and exercising and doing things that we sometimes haven't been so conscious of as we really need to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm noticing a difference. I really liked, the, it took the three the first time, I think. Because, sure. Um, it was really only the last several weeks where I could really feel or see the difference. And that may not feel the difference, but see the difference. Okay. Yeah. And it generally takes a very long time if we're consciously trying to change a habit. They say it takes 18 months. If you consciously are trying to say, I'm not going to bite my nails. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do this. You have to concentrate for a very long time consciously. Mm. But with the unconscious mind, it usually starts making changes, real good changes, in about three or four weeks. So for our first several sessions, that was really only covering that early period of time. So yeah. that's, that's when you would sort of expect changes to mm -hmm. start happening. Yeah. So that's realistic. Um, and it, it really does make it natural that that's when your subconscious would be kicking in. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I was right on time. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're definitely right on time. That's yeah. beautiful. Good. Yes. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Spiritual Superpowers. Karen will be joining me by my side in the next episode. So don't you worry, she is on her way back. And if you did like this episode, please hit that like button. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Subscribers makes a big difference for our channel. And then if you are interested in being notified when we do put up a new video every week, hit that notification bell. Thank you again for tuning in. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you again.